Um, I will bet both of you, gentlemen, that my team will finish the regular season worse than yours. What team is your team? <clears throat> Denver Broncos. Denver Broncos. Ooh, oh, that feels dirty. Oh, they've got a practice squad guy starting tomorrow. Oh, my heart. Yeah. Uh, I have a buddy who's a yep. hard Broncos fan. Me too. And he was very happy when they got the two years paid. Yeah. Uh, and they got their championship because now, like, uh, yep. it's rough. When I heard Peyton Manning was coming, I was like, this is it. We have a title. We get one. We won't get two. We get one. I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, now, who is the other player that we have? Future match. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 this would be a great match. That's what they were saying. Oh, okay, good. All right. Okay. I do. A kettle with a garbage deck? Garbage. Okay. Oh, that's that's funny. What do, what do you actually believe that Kevin is playing? Uh, the fact that he is stating a garbage deck, I will assume it is red green. Oh, I like that. Uh, I'm going to say green black. Green black. Not because I don't like it, but because it's got the letters G and R in it. Okay, so we've got. Hey, Ryan just won some sleeves. Yay, one of the people in our future match is winning prizes. That's awesome. All right. Almost time to cut over to the future match camera here. Let's, let's go ahead and get this going, shall we? All right. Oh, Ooh, garbage, turns out, That's garbage turns out to be green-white. Green-white? Interesting. That is an uncommon deck choice. All right. Yes, it's nice. We can actually hear the commentary. Yeah. Come to the table. That's good. I'm showing the game. I was going to say, we, we don't control the big TV, unfortunately. Yeah, that's true. Janice could have had the Twitch stream on the... Yep. I never thought of that. Yep. That would have been neat. Why don't we do that? That was a great I idea. I do that now, if you'd like. Yeah, why don't you jump up there and uh, see if we can get that on the big screen. That's cool. Like, yeah, yeah, both of them. And then you can shrink down the timer. All right, so Bassie's going to go to the front and see if we can get this live Twitch stream airing on the TV in the store so the people at the other matches can watch this excitement happen. <laughs> now, I've just seen a creature get murdered. And Ryan's taking some damage, going down to 16. Ryan casts a kill spell, kills a creature, gains three life, goes to 19. There we go. We now have the action on the screen inside the store as well. This is cool. What a setup we have here. Kevin's drawing nothing but land. It, it actually is a garbage deck at the moment. Kevin goes to 18 life. This is really cool. It's a good game so far. Kevin's decided to save up all his land to cast one giant spell, the aggressive mammoth. An 8-8 with Trample. Kevin's waiting to find another white source. That's why he's been held, held back. <coughs> Ryan takes 8 damage, chooses not to block, goes to 11. There we go. And now you can hear me again. And now I can hear you again. That's good. 
I find when I'm holding it, I get too excited and start bringing it too close to my mouth. And yeah, I yeah. start blowing it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I just like doing my imitation of Bob Barker with the long microphone. The very long microphone. <laughs> the very long microphone, yes. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. All right. Ryan's choosing once again not to block, taking a ton of damage going all the way to three life. That's a scary thing when you're facing down a creature that's 8-8 eight, eight and trample. Kevin Barker, you're the next contestant on The Price is Right. Kevin Bunker has won the first game in this match between two longtime friends and compadres. Kevin v. Ryan. Can the deck still be called garbage when it wins? It will, yes. It will still be called garbage when it wins? Interesting. Now, I'm hearing some, some classic shuffling from Kevin's side, and that makes me cringe a little bit. It does me as well. But Kevin likes to do things that make people cringe. That's true. And he's not playing with a deck that he's particularly... <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's trying the uh, 52 pickup method of shuffling the deck. Yep, I think it worked. Yeah. He won the first game. Indeed. It's, it's an interesting strategy. Let's see how it pays out for him. It's a bold strategy, Jason. It is a bold strategy. <laughs> <laughs> All the cards are upside down. Uh, Sidey ways. We'd like to take a moment to remind you that this game of magic for this charity event is brought to you by Magna International. That's a, great. A great company that employs over 600 people here in Penitent Machine. Driving excellence and inspiring innovation. You again with the taglines. You're so much better at this job than I am. <laughs> Well, that's probably why I'm in sales and you own a game store. Wait, doesn't if I own a game store, doesn't that mean that I'm also in sales? No, you're in you're, you're in retail. I'm in retail. Uh, retail's not sales. No. Okay. No. What what do I do for a living? Uh, you sell board games. Okay. Yeah. But I'm not in sales. No, not in sales. Okay. <laughs> I, have, I have many questions. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Look, the actions got underway. Uh, Ish. <laughs> and how will he know which card to draw? Apparently, we're just doing the draw any card off the table match. Okay. And, and, and that's a fair fair response to the uh, the fifty two pickup style from earlier. Indeed. If you this want is... to make my cards hard to pick up, I'll pick whichever one I want. Yes, I I feel it's only fair to <laughs> be is. honest. Yeah. And Kevin has done this to himself. Indeed. <laughs> This is a first for televised magic, ladies and gentlemen. The 52 pickups shuffle. I was say, yes, that, that card piling is, is its own unique beast in this yes, particular match. Indeed it is. This is why we don't let Kevin Bunker on feature matchups at stores. That's correct. Apparently we had no other options. Yeah. It was that or cut the feed. So. It looks like Ryan already taking three damage. Ryan doesn't care. He doesn't care. As long as he's got one life, he's a happy guy. As a matter of fact, anything more than zero, Ryan's a happy guy. Yes, indeed. All right. I can actually still hear you quite well. Can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. Because I'm, I'm tired of doing the Bob Barker. So. Absolutely, yeah. It gets tiring. Okay. Well, as long as you can hear me, that's good. Yep. So now I hear that this is a catered event. I'm sorry, what was that? I hear that this event is catered. This event is catered? Well, whatever do you mean? I, I mean by the delicious, delicious foods that are provided to us by uh, the original Wing House. Indeed. The original Wing House here in Penitent Machine. Stepped it up, donated a bunch of wings for us. They're a great, great restaurant. Can't say enough good things about them. And great, great wings. Oh, delicious wings. Although you can ruin them with the right hot sauce. You can ruin them with the right hot sauce. This is true. <laughs> and uh, we're also eating, uh, looks like, pastries? Yeah, okay. Indeed. Get those life totals updated. Ryan's actually at 11 life. He is, it's true. My goodness, Kevin, Kevin is just having his way with the man. Kevin's down to 14 life. Now, we've always known Kevin to be aggressive, but he is just absolutely having his way with Ryan right now. Ryan's showing the camera the cards in his hand. He seems to be happy. 
with nothing but swamps. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do believe, now I, I hate to say things preemptively, but uh, I believe that this egg is already hatched. <laughs> yes. I think you're right. Yeah. That's going to put Ryan all the way to three life. <laughs> that's it. That's game. And that's game. Win. We had a double match in less than five minutes. That's impressive. That's what happens when you A, don't shuffle your deck into a pile, and B, don't draw any cards that you need. You'd almost that's think that he had the Ken sleeves on. You'd almost think that one of them was using Ken sleeves today. Congratulations to Kevin Bunker on his win today mm -hmm. using the unconventional methods of messing around with his opponent. Well, played. I don't know that he won on the field as much as he won in the mind. I feel like he won in the game of life with that match. <laughs> now, with the feature match being done that early, uh, we're, we're actually going to have a word from Kevin, the winner. Uh, so come on over, Kevin. Tell us, tell us about your win. Tell us about that strategy, Kevin. That was a fascinating match to watch. i got to admit, I was confused at first. I, you, might, you might even say I was baffled at first, Kevin. When I saw you uh, do the whole mess the the matchup on the table, the, the pile. What do you call that method? Um, well, see, it's mind games, and the the basic principle of it is, you know, you gotta you gotta win the game before your opponent even sits down at the table. And the thing is, you have to establish dominance early. Indeed. And if, and if that means that you have to riffle around their deck like that, you know, I know it's not kosher. I know that under more strict rules enforcement, then there would be an issue. However. We've known each other for a while, Ryan and myself, and quite frankly, if he wasn't going to pull the trigger on it, I figured I might as well do it. <laughs> do you feel that that was the turning point in the game, before the game even started? Um, I think the turning point in the game is that it was the point where Ryan's, I believe it was game two, didn't draw any green mana whatsoever. I think that was the real turning point. It's, I did notice that seemed to be a bit of a factor. It's, it's a little weird that in a 26 land deck, uh, your opponent's not drawing any of their second color that there's 13 of. It's a little strange, but, yeah. you know, sometimes the odds are in our favor and we take them. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Congratulations on your victory there. I believe that makes you now 1-0 and lifetime on televised games from here at North of Exile. Yes, it does. That's, it that's does. good. To go undefeated. It must feel good, right? It's, you know, it's, it's, it's good. You can't you go gotta, undefeated you if you, you don't gotta, win the first one. Well, you know, you gotta, you gotta when you're out there, you gotta skate hard and uh, get in there and you know get the checks that matter. And yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's all about there for the kids. Hustle, the kids, hustle, uh, hustle. Say your prayers, eat your vitamins. Yeah. Hulkamania boys and girls. Oh yeah. Excellent. Well done, sir. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Kevin Bunker. That was Kevin Bunker here, also known as Panda Boy. Kevin Bunker, coming all the way up from Toronto today. We love our pandas. He might be a trash panda, though. I'm not sure. But we, we love him. <laughs> so that's it. That's an exciting game. Uh, we're just kind of busy for a minute here, waiting for some of the other matches to end, because honestly, I was I was a little disappointed because I don't get to see Ryan Gillard nearly enough in my life, and I wanted to see more of him on camera, and it just it didn't quite happen. Maybe if we beg really nicely, we can get him to come here and sit down and tell us his side of the story on that epic matchup. And here he is. Excellent. Ryan, thank you for joining us today. Tell me, I'd, I'd love to hear, what was it like for you when you were playing that game against Kevin? Um, that first game was a bit of give and take. Uh, that mm -hmm. second game, he hit me with a really tactical deck uh, cut, mm -hmm. and it really uh, just threw my whole game off. H had, you, had you ever seen anyone use that tactic before? I have not. That was new to me. I'm, I'm not even sure it's allowed, but... I, it, uh, I'm not sure either, to be honest with you. It, it caught me off guard, I have to admit. It, it was tough playing like that, I must admit, and uh, it's something I think I'm, uh, I'm going to steal and use going forward. I, I really admired how you bounced back, though, and you decided to make a conscious effort not to just draw the top card out of the deck, because anyone can do that. You decided to go with a different method where you seemed to sort of pull them out at random. It, I thought it would work out. Uh, as it turns out, I can only uh, pull swamps that way. Yes, that was, <laughs> it was That was a bit unfortunate. Yeah. Um, and I, as I as I showed the folks at home, my uh, my entire hand was green. So yes. That did not uh, work out the way I would have liked it. To. Is it safe to assume that that wasn't deliberate? No, that was not deliberate. That's not deliberate. Okay. No, no. I, I was like, maybe he's purposely just getting swamps. You know. You know, like Kevin and I have been friends for uh, for a 
really long time, and you know sometimes uh, you just throw the games. Yeah, you just want to make him feel good, right? Yeah. I mean, he doesn't really have a lot going for him in life. (laughs) He didn't inherit our good looks or personality, and you're like, I gotta do something to cheer this guy up. (laughs) You're like, you know what? I'll I'll take a knee on camera for right. That was that. That's basically it. That's what I was getting for the vibe there. So yeah, I appreciate it. You know, it just shows that you're a good quality human being. So yeah, well, it was a lot of fun. Um playing that way yeah so <laughs> oh, that's awesome i'm glad to hear that it was a good laugh and we appreciate you making the trip all the way up from toronto to be a part of today's event that was Absolutely. a really really wonderful surprise. it's for a good cause and i'm glad to be here yeah and we always love having you guys come up so it was, it's, i made my day when i see you guys walking in through the front door so <laughs> so thank you so much for being here today it was, it's exciting i almost feel guilty that i'm stuck on camera so much because i'd love to just be like walking around hugging all these awesome people that i don't <laughs> don't get to see very often well again it's for the good cause right yeah and we've done a lot of good today we've raised a lot of money and i'm feeling confident that we're going to hit our goal by the end of today which is really exciting to say so good yeah all right well uh i'm going to take off now i don't want to take up too much camera time yeah i know right but ladies this gentleman here if you want send me a message i will get you his number it's gorgeous beast. He's, he's a not lying. He's, he's not lying. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a fact. Yeah, yeah. And he too, he could teach you how to play magic with the, the whole not the top of the deck strategy. Like you're truly a leader in this field. So it teach, uh, introduces another level of randomness to the game, which yeah. I think um, uh, can really throw off your opponent sometimes. I think it's going to catch on, to be honest with you. I want to play a game of magic like that where <laughs> we just spread them all around and willy-nilly draw whatever we feel like. I think... <laughs> I think that could be a new format. Forget Pioneer. What are, what are we going to call this new format? <clears throat> mess. Gonna, mess. I want to play a game of mess. Mess. 60 card mess. Mess. I, 60 card mess. I love it. We could throw um, another thing in there where uh, don't even just use your own deck. Mess you and your opponent's deck together and Ooh. then go. Oh, I like that even better. Yeah. What colors am I playing today? Oh, it looks like Who red. Knows? Who knew, right? Uh, I, I love it. I, I, I can't wait to try that. That sounds great. <laughs> That's a new format that we're going to invent right here in North of Exile. Come up and play 60-card mess. 60-card mess. I or or the 100-card commander variant. Just grab everybody's commander. That does sound like a mess. <laughs> that does sound like a mess. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's All always right. a pleasure to see you. Good luck in the rest of your fun games today. Thank you so much. You take care. That, my friends, was Ryan Gillard. Made the trip all the way up from Toronto to be part of the action today. He's gone 0-1 on televised games today, but he's 1-0 in our hearts. We all mm-hmm. love the man. And that's it for now. Uh, it's exciting. We've still got some magic games going on at the bar and the table. We've still got a ton of board games set up. You can drop in, play a